Welcome to Coffee Habit number two, setting up the TikTok. Okay, TikTok, welcome. This is day eight, video one. I'm coming in a little early because I want to get some typing in my book done. Um, it's day eight, you're going to get two heroes. Today's heroes is Vixen and Mr. Terrific. We're starting with Vixen because she's so pretty. Anyway, we're going to get that wiki, but first, Y'all know the drill. We're going to do some images. So you guys, look, I'm not real big on comics anymore. I am not up to speed. So I'm going to give you what I can find. So if you guys got any complaints, go talk to the actual comic book aficionados because everything that I've ever known about comics was retconned, excuse me, retconned in 2010, 2011. And prior to that, they were doing a slow burn on most of my comic books. I'll make a third video about that later. Right now, we're going to do Vixen. That did not come out right, but did it? Okay, so here's Vixen. Alright, one of the primary female superheroes in DC Comics that is a black female. Now, now I'm not completely familiar with Vixen. I know she has a TV series. I don't know if it's still on or if it got picked up. Um, I met her on Justice League Unlimited. Prior to that, I had no idea who the hell she was. Again, I'm more Marvel than DC. So, um, you know, just giving y'all a couple of glimpses of Vixen before we go read her wiki. So now we're both going to learn some shit today. Ooh, Vixen has a toy. Check that out. Oh, Vixen, Bad Woman, and Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. Cool. I don't know which um, Green Lantern that is. I don't think it's Kari Wynn, because she's not the same color. as Kari Wynn is technically a white lady, and the great-granddaughter of Kyle Rayner. Alright, let's go to this lady's wiki, because y'all know these videos ain't but 10 minutes long. So, we kind of got to do this and get it done right. All right, it's a wiki. All right, Vixen, a superhero created by Gary Conroy and Bob Crap. O K S E N R. Let's say that again. O K S N E R. She first appeared in Action Comics five twenty one, July nineteen eighty one. I was like. Maybe 11, maybe 10. I don't remember how old I was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, published by DC Comics through a Tantu totem, which allows her to harness the spirit of any animal, past, present, and use their abilities. All right, we got that. Uh, publisher, DC Comics. First appearance, Action Comics 521, July 1981. And we already did the creators. I'm not going to try to pronounce that again. Uh, Alter Ego. Mari, oh, for the love of God. Uh, I don't know how to say this. I'm going to spell it out for you. J-I-W-E McCabe. All right. So her name is Mari, J-I-W-E McCabe. Species, metahuman. Team affiliations, Justice League Detroit, Suicide Squad, Checkmate, Ultramarine Corps, Justice League International, Justice League of America 2, Justice Foundation, Justice League Task Force. Abilities. Expert martial artist and hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Uh, I have no idea how to say this, so I'm going to spell it out for you. I-N-D-O-M-I-T-A-B-L-E. Will. It's got something to do with some kind of willpower. That's pretty obvious. Um, the use of mystical totems. Mystical Tantu totem. Giant animal uh, I guess it's immunation, enhanced strength, speed, stamina, durability, agility, reflexes, and senses, enhanced vision, razor sharp claws, accelerated healing, metamorphic field energy manipulation. Jesus Christ. Uh, two versions of the character the CW's Arrowverse, original comic book version, Maury McCabe, debuted in the CW. 
seed animated vixen voices by how the hell do you say that shit okay bear with me m e g a l y n that's the first name here goes the extra part that i can't pronounce e c h i k u n w o k e i'm sorry to the actress i'm sorry i'm praying we never meet because i will never be able to say your name um he reprised her role in episodes of the live action series Arrow, Legends of Tomorrow, introduced the World War II era vixen Imari's grandmother, for the love of God, Amaya J.I.W.E., portrayed by <sighs> Masisi, but no, I'm going to spell it for y'all, <laughs> A-M-I-A-S-I-E. Richardson Sellers. Okay. That was hell. Alright, let's get the character biography. I know I don't have a lot of time, so we're only going to get, like, hopefully a paragraph in. Maybe a paragraph and a half. Okay. In ancient Ghana, a warrior, Tantu, asked a shoot. A N A S I, the spider. To create a totem that would give the wearer all the abilities of the animal kingdom. Only if they would use the power to protect the innocent. The Tantu used the, ta the, the, the totem to become Africa's first legendary hero. The totem was later passed down to the Tantu's descendants until it reached the McCaves. Growing up in a small village in a fictional... I hope this is Zambonese. You know what, we're just going to go ahead and spell that for you. Z A M B E S I, and then there's a pause, and then there's an M and a C H A N G A province. Hopefully, y'all got all that, because there's no way hell I can say it. Anyway, Maury J I W E McCabe heard of the legend of the Tantu totem from her mother. Sometime later, Maury's mother was unalived by poachers. And she was raised by her father. God, I hope that says Renard. I don't know what that says. I'm going to spell it for you. R-E-V-E-R-E-N-D. Richard. J-I-W-E. Well, what the hell is her last name then? Anyway, the village priest. We're not going to spell that name again. But you guys got the first R-E-V part. Um, himself was also unalive. By his half brother, Mari's uncle, General Masai. I'm sure I said that wrong. M A K S A I wanted the totem which the J I W E had possessed. Look, y'all, bear with me. I can't pronounce this shit. And now you see why I'm more Marvel than this. Marvel Ultimate. God damn it, that is not her name. Mari ultimately moved to America where she established her identity as Mari McCabe and worked as a model in New York City. She used her newfound wealth to travel the world. On a trip back to Africa, she came across her uncle and took back the Tantu totem, using its power to become the costume superhero Vixen. We are out of time. Thank goodness, because um, there's not much more I can give you. The other paragraphs talk about um, fighting crime, talks about the Justice, I mean the Justice League, Suicide Squad, Animal Man, and other adventures, and then it talks about Infinite Crisis, and then it talks about Year One, Justice League of America again, um, Return of the Lion, Final Crisis, After Final Crisis, um, New 52s, and DC Rebirth. So, your assignment for today, the 8th day of February. Black Heritage Black History Month is to get your ass on Google and read this shit off of Wikipedia. Your next character is Mr. Terrific. Alright? I don't want anybody who's thinking that I'm not going to do DC characters like I did with um the Native American Heritage Month. I did do a couple of DC characters. Long story. Anyway, those videos are here too. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be seeing you next time. Later. Oh, come on. Okay. TikTok. Welcome. This is day eight. Yo, one. I'm coming in a little early because I want to get.
get some type in the middle of the night. Um, stay eight, you're gonna get two heroes, today's heroes, and there's Vixen, and this is terrific. We're starting with Vixen, because she's so pretty. Anyway, we're gonna get that wiki, but first, y'all know the drill. We're gonna do some images, so you guys, look, I'm not real big on oh, comics anymore. I am not up to speed, so I'm gonna give you what I can find. So if you guys got any complaints, Go talk to the actual comic book aficionados because everything that I've ever known about comics was retconned, excuse me, retconned in 2010, 2011. And prior to that, they were doing a slow burn on most of my comic books. I'll make a third video about that later. Right now, we're going to do Vixen. That did not come out right. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know this is like the process, right? Greetings to the Geek Clan! Shout out to Grimlock Stonehammer. Alright. Let's get this uh, Wikipedia thing back. DC Comics, Mr. Terrific. It's gonna do some stuff for y'all. I said Mr. Terrific, not Miss. Who the hell is that? Uh, something about Miss here. She's not part of the assignment. DC comic superhero, Mr. Terrific. That doesn't even say terrific. It does not say terrific. According to Wikipedia, Mr. Terrific is the name of two superheroes in the DC Comics universe, Michael Holt and Terry Sloan, both versions of Mr. Terrific. The original Golden Age hero, Terry Sloan, was a millionaire with a photographic memory and athletic skills who became the superhero after rescuing a woman from suicide. Yeah, we're not doing that one. Sorry, Mr. Sloan. Setting up the TikTok. Okay. We're back. Day 8, video 2. Mr. Terrific. I didn't know there were two of them, but we're only doing the black guy. Alright? That has offended anybody? Go Google Mr. Terrific and you'll get where YouTube got, which you guys didn't get on TikTok. Alright? So, here we go. We're going to give you guys this image. And for honorable mention, that'd be the white guy. The original Mr. Terrific, apparently. The guy I never knew existed. Okay, this is the Mr. Terrific that I know from Justice League. The cartoon, y'all. Y'all remember Justice League Unlimited. Come on. Mr. Terrific barely left the damn tower, which is like a major league cop out, but um, he has a toy. Why are they giving me all these damn clowns? Like, seriously, they're giving me all these clowns. Like, that's not Mr. Terrific. You're going to tell me he only has fucking four images? Uh, yeah. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, we have some more. I was about to get upset for a second. I'm not going to lie. I was getting about to, like, get really mad and, like, start swearing at Wiki. Um, these are some repeat offender pictures here. When I said that, I don't mean like that in a criminal way. It's just the same damn pics that I saw you. That I saw you. That I've already showed you. Oh, I gotta go back. I found the actor that played him on Arrowverse. That wasn't the picture I found, but okay. We'll find a new one. There you go, and there's the picture I found. Salute to that guy. I can't remember, but I think in the TV show, Mr. Terrific was gay. No offense to anybody who's gay. There's nothing wrong with that. So we're going to do Mr. Terrific's wiki now. All right? Hey, look, I know y'all watched Arrow. I'm pretty sure that Mr. Terrific might have been gay. And I think he went from Arrow to The Flash. And then maybe that was like a cameo. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What does matter is we're doing Mr. Terrific and he's the black guy. So deal with that. 
Okay. All right. So, Mr. Terrific. I probably need to go back up. Uh, no, I don't, because it doesn't give me anything. All right. Publisher, DC Comics. First appearance, uh, Sensational Comics, number one, 1942. We are not doing that, Mr. Terrific. His name is Terry Sloan. That's the only honorable mention you're going to get since I already showed your picture. Anyway, don't be a dick. Uh, Michael Holt is the t Mr. Terrific we're doing. First appearance, Spectre, Volume 3. I guess it says Volume 3, but it has a hashtag 54, June 1997. Yeah, I was pretty much um, screwed with DC Comics when, um, you know, Jason Peter Todd did the big one. Um, created by uh, Charles Will. No, that's a different guy. Sorry, that was the first guy. Uh, the new guy was created by John... Holy fuck, Knuckles. Or Strander? We're going to spell that for y'all. O-S-T-R-A-N-D-E-R -E -E and Tom Mandrake. I can say Mandrake, because that was a superhero once. In fact, I might do one of those older black superheroes from that era. Anyway, Alter Ego... Michael Holt, Team Affiliations, Justice Society of America, Justice League, Checkmate, All-Star Squadron, Black Lantern Corps, and the Terrifics. We are not doing uh, the first guy, but the first paragraph is all about the first guy. No disrespect, but we're going with Michael Holt, the black guy. It is Black History, Black Heritage Month, so if you guys got any smoke for that, take it up with the comic book aficionados. Don't come at me because I send warnings, not invitations. And have a really nice size 9 boot. Okay. So here we go. Second Mr. Terrific debuted in 1997. Michael Holt is inspired by Sloan's story. Sloan's story. The original guy. In highly skilled intelligence. Holt invented the T-Spears. In their virtual satellite devices controlled by his mask and his earpiece. He served in the Justice League Society of America. And had a short-lived standalone comic book series. Mr. Terrific, the concept was also adapted into another version of the storylines. All right. Oh. I'm sorry. They don't give me a lot. They have versions. So you have Terry Sloan. We don't want that guy. And we have Michael Holt. So I'm going to give you... As much of his paragraph as time allowed. And then everything after that, it's just um, similar characters in other media references. All right, so let's get to it because time is never on my side. In 1997, the mantle of Mr. Terrific was passed down to Michael Hall and an equally talented man who held five black belts and had won the Olympic decathlon. On holding many degrees and doctorates, in the wide, wide spectrum of fields, while cont yeah. contemplating while contemplating self-deletion, I had to word that carefully. While contemplating self-deletion, after an accidental unaliving of his wife and unborn child, he met he's met by the specter who told him about Terry Sloan. Inspired by Sloan's life story, he took the name Mister Terrific. Later, joining the current Justice Society of America, eventually serving as its chairman. He, the inventor of the T-Spheres, the artificially intelligent mini, mini devices controlled by his mask and his earpiece, Mr. Terrific can fly and create holographic images, project beams of light, releasing electronical charges. Why does it have to be electronical? Damn it. Anyway, sorry, sorry. That, that, Lost art. Um, hacks into computers, the GPS satellites, and constantly cloaks Holt against detections and recording of image of his image by any of the technological non-organic means, making him virtually invisible to everything but the human eye line of sight. In the past, he used the term, he used them for re reconnaissance, infiltration, espionage, and information retrieval and storage option mini mask 
and the T-spheres also go off of directions and tasks at once. He can also be used the T-spheres to obviously as projectiles and started to treat them as one of the opponents constantly accelerating them up to 14 miles an hour per second which is a number here says 50 then it has a comma and 400 miles per hour so in other words if one of those things hits you you can kiss your ass goodbye um, it turns into about 70 percent of the their corporal beam into superheated plasma liquefying the rest okay whether it is has been tested or was it a bluff unknown to be considered the option wasn't real most of the less less alive mr terrific would um have no moral compass what the fuck sorry he would have had no moral difficulties in using that option if it came down to it while the costume mr terrific has no fewer than three spears orbiting him his body at all times he is mainly uses up to ten and this is considered the third smartest man alive alright we are out of time your assignment tonight is to go read about Mr. Terrific read both of them the original guy and the next guy thank you guys for watching be seeing ya and the damn thing didn't stop oh for the love of God Okay, we're back. Day 8, video 2. Mr. Terrific. I didn't know there were two of them, but we're only doing the black guy. Alright, that has offended anybody? Go Google Mr. Terrific, and you'll get what YouTube got, which you guys didn't get on TikTok. Alright, so here we go. We're going to give you guys this image, and for honorable mention. Oh, yeah. I guess I should probably stop and um, let you guys know that the next... Black heroes are going to be. The next black superheroes that are going to be used. Um, we're going to do Black Panther for Marvel. Uh, T'Challa. And we're going to do. Um, did I do Falcon? I don't think I did Falcon. We're going to do Black Panther for sure. Falcon's on the block. Alright, so we're going to, matter of fact, let's just go ahead and do that. If I haven't done it. Black Panther and Falcon. Alright, thank you guys for watching.